Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Nerd Chat here on Electro Ninja's Lab. I'm joined by my hosts, Frank the Dopamine Dog, Joker here, and welcome back. So, um, for one thing, this video is going to be talking a little bit about Miraculous, but we are mostly just going to be talking about all of the crazy stuff that's going to be happening this season. <laughs> Oh boy. By which he means spring, not season of something. Yeah. <laughs> the season of spring and the season of anime and all that jazz. Oh. So. <laughs> how about we start with Miraculous? <laughs> Let's do it. Chat Noir. Oh, Chat yeah. Noir. Ladybug and Chat Noir. Uh, so, uh, I know that uh, I know that Chat Noir or whatever it is, it's it's not actually Chat Noir, but still. Yeah, because that's the that's the uh, word for shit. So maybe. Yeah. yeah, which is why, in order to prevent that from happening, uh, we got Cat Noir here in America <laughs> instead of Chat Noir. Noir. Yeah, which is weird. As someone who watches the show in French, Cat Noir doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Yeah. But, I don't know. It makes some sense. Um... He's calling Black Cat. Damn. <laughs> oh. So, um, for those of you who are unaware, I am completely caught up with Miraculous and have talked about every single episode since last season. And... Joker has seen nothing. And how much have you seen, Frank? Uh, like the third season, I think. Uh, that would be the third season on Netflix because Netflix is yeah. weird, unfortunately. Um, for those of you who are unaware, uh, on Netflix, for some reason, they split both season two and three up into different. Uh, into two different seasons each so for some reason there's five seasons on netflix but in actuality it's only three seasons yeah season three on netflix okay cool cool <laughs> uh just just get ready because yeah watch season three which actual season three uh chronologically because that one is not ordered correctly at all on Netflix, sadly. And that one really needed to be watched chronologically. I didn't, obviously, but it it would have made it so much better, in my opinion. And I will be go I will probably make a list of that in order for you later. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> but season four actually has just started. <laughs> And I'm so excited. Oh, on top of that, the two specials are happening with the New York special happening uh, earlier this year and the Shanghai special starting up literally next month. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, the joys of dealing with China. Man. Oh, there's none. <laughs> uh, but it kind of makes some sense. Um, also, can, I know you haven't seen it, but that is the location of where we first get the the native uh, the Native American box first shows up in the New York special, which was honestly amazing. I'm excited to watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware of the Native American box, I have actually made a video on it where I basically explained that more than likely the 12 uh, drawers on the side are all the 12 zodiacs from the uh, Native American box, or the Native American zodiac, and I have never discussed what the frel the uh, five up top were. But now, we actually do know 
that at least one of them is the Eagle Miraculous, which is fun. That's actually quite cool. <laughs> yeah. Which is used by one of our main characters. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> it's used by, Mirac- by uh, Ladybug or Cat Noir? No, one of the main characters that's introduced for the New York special. Gotcha. Yeah. Which, honestly, I, I just have to say, I know you haven't seen it yet, but those two characters are honestly amazing. Sparrow and Uncanny Valley are just amazing characters. So well worked. And honestly, I think you're going to love, especially Uncanny, because she's a robot, and we all know how we feel about robots. We love them? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, for the LGBT community, you get a lot of representation in the New York special. Woo woo. <laughs> oh, boy. Which is not surprising, considering the fact that it takes place in America. Wait, what, like America's super gay? Uh, feels like it. A lot more than it, it sounds like for other countries, to be honest. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that, about Europe. Eh, fair point. But, yeah. It, it's the still gays, kind of... we be everywhere! <laughs> oh my gosh, you need help, Hannah. No, I don't. <laughs> Oh, boy. But, yeah. Um, So that's fun. And then the Shanghai special is going to be introducing another new hero, which I'm honestly really excited for. Um, Not going to get into all of that right now, but we'll be talking about that when the special actually comes out, probably. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um. (laughs) Got it. Oh, that's going to be fun. Also, there's going to be another new hero that we've been seeing a little bit of artwork for, uh, and she is the White Lion. So we now know that there is an African Miraculous box. Interesting. Yep. (laughs) Oh, I... How much do you want to bet there's one for all seven continents? Uh, actually, I have actually made a video where I talked about how there could possibly be one for each continent plus there's also likely going to be one for transylvania as well as the ocean i'm here for the ocean one yo (laughs) hit me with that whale miraculous b (laughs) oh could you imagine if that uh, if that one's power is to basically be able to grow in size or something just (laughs) miraculous (laughs) <laughs> all of a sudden they have gills oh my gosh I actually wouldn't be surprised if at some point there is an Atlantis special where our character Mariner and Adrian go off to freaking Atlantis for some miraculous stuff more than likely this would happen after season 4 Um, but that would be absolutely insane and A lot of my fans are extremely excited for the Dark Miraculous box to be revealed. (laughs) Yikes. Uh, For those of you who are unaware, I've made multiple theories about that. I don't know how I feel about that one. Yeah. Basically, uh, as a quick run over, that is a Miraculous box filled with Miraculouses that have evil properties to them. And as such, they have to be kept away. Technically, Plague, as well as the Miraculous of Death, would technically count as these as being part of this box, but because of the fact that they betrayed the Dark Box, they got to stay with their specific boxes. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which, uh, the Death Kwame will more than likely be going over to, um, uh, South America. Interesting. <laughs> Have you watched Carmen San Diego? Yes. Okay. Has Joker? That's... Bet no. Joker? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Have you seen Carmen San Diego? No. Dude, what the frog? <sighs> you need to see more kids' shows. <laughs> um, well, first of all, 
Well, I'm not a kid anymore. Well, neither are we. Growing up is optional. Growing up is optional. Growing old is mandatory. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, Frel, freaking. Yeah, I'm not interested. I mean, I'm have not you at watching least watching little kid shows anymore? They're not little kid shows, though. <laughs> These shows are. I'm not asking you to watch Blue's Clues, Benji. Come on, dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, frick, like, should we be considering frickin' Steven Universe or, um, <laughs> Gravity Falls as kids' shows? I'm mostly talking about Steven Universe Future because Steven Universe, yes, it does start out as a very little kids' show. Very little kids, just kids. Yeah, that's fair. But it, it does get better. I will, I will say that for... Uh, if you haven't watched Steven Universe, um, it's not... It gets too much it more mature. Gnarly. Yeah, it, it, it does. Holy crap. And I will say right now, Steven Universe Future is not for kids. Holy crap. Word. Oh, you've seen it, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I, I just rewatched it recently, and that... That is not for kids. <laughs> that is 100% for adults. <laughs> or teenagers, I guess. Young adults. Yeah. Oh, but that, that one was good. Um, I didn't enjoy the movie, though, as much as I thought I would. Hmm. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. But Gravity Falls, now that is an amazing show. It's weird. I but mean, that's the point. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure that Joker hasn't seen that, has he? I've seen Gravity Falls. Okay, good. And what do you think of it? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> These shows are good. You need to start watching the shows that are technically for kids. Because they're really not just for kids. Like My dad still watches Phineas and Ferb, so you can shut up anytime. Exactly. Now, that is a little bit more meant for kids than Gravity Falls, but... I mean, there are innuendos. That is true. But, I mean, there's innuendos in practically everything, so... There's innuendos in Toy Story, too, so, you know. Yeah, and Spongebob. I mean, they live in Bikini Bottom. Spongebob... Spongebob is an innuendo. <laughs> True that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but... Oh, have you seen Owl House yet? No. Oh, it's so good. Oh. <laughs> uh, basically, it is literally in the... Uh, I'd say that it's in the same universe as Gravity Falls. Like, maybe the main characters are... In a universe similar to where um, uh, uh, Bill Cipher came from, so oh, okay. So I'm not sure exactly, but I think it might be his world, or it might be something else that just so happens to be very similar. Interesting. So yeah, it is interesting. You should definitely watch it. It's great. Okay. So there's a note. <laughs> I said okay. Uh, I know. I know that I said that. I, I said note, not no. Note. Okay, I was like, excuse you. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know what is coming, and this will, ex or has started actually, because it started today as we're recording this, My Hero Academia is back. Woo. <laughs> Are you feeling alright there, Jokey Boy? Yeah, I'm just really tired. I feel that. I haven't slept that great in days. Too bad you can't have coffee. Can't Today, drink anything, anything with caffeine, sir. I know. Oh yeah, stupid heart. Yep. And other th things. <laughs> I mean, the Mormons bought Coca-Cola, so they're good with caffeine now, right? I heard that was a thing. Um, there's never been a thing against caffeine. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Okay, I thought it was 
I thought it was caffeine that, uh, in general. That was a big no-no. Alcohol. Alcohol, yes. There is a big no-no about that. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a big no-no about alcohol for a lot of uh, branches of Christianity, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. My Hero Academia Season 5. Two of... Honestly, the best arcs, I have to say. <laughs> uh, we First off, we get the uh, tournament between the two classes, class A and B, with more Shinso stuff, which is awesome. I know how much we love Shinso. And then the second best arc of the series, period, the villain arc, which is so dark. Like, holy crap. It's so I, good. It is. It's so good and so dark. And it's... Honestly, I would not be surprised if that arc just totally becomes Raid MA. Because it was... It's not a pleasant arc at all. No. And I know that... Very, very Frank hasn't... Uh, Frank has no idea what we're talking about, but... Yeah, just trust Frank us. Frank is currently playing Pokemon, so I'll just talk about <laughs> the MHA all you want. <laughs> I'm just oh. trying to beat the candy. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Oh, I am so excited to see all of the different characters from Class B all get animated with all of their quirks. It's going to be awesome. Of it's course. Gonna be exciting. Of course, for some reason, they freaking decided that. Uh, the first episode was going to be an anime-only episode, which kind of sucks. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, basic. Uh, remember how uh, basically every single season they reintroduce all the cast, so it was basically one of those again, which I did enjoy, but it's still kind of meh, in my opinion. Um. Especially since the arc act, or the season actually finished, um, last season finished right as uh, another part of the battle was going to happen. <laughs> uh, it ended right in the middle of a battle, which really sucks, in my opinion. Yeah, and then you get that one clip at the very end of. Yeah, and that that takes. Pl uh, I think that actually does take place after the episode that we just saw. And basically, Deku is going to sleep right after uh, the the episode that just came out, and that's when he he gets his vision of the other users of One for All. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited for that. Who is not? <laughs> oh. I'm not. I don't know what's going on. I know. You need to watch it. Speaking of things that you guys need to watch, you guys should watch uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. What? <laughs> uh, the show is called That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Sounds like D&D gone wild. Yes, and it's awesome. Basically, it's about a guy who uh, who dies, obviously. We've got another isekai on our hands. And then he gets reincarnated as a slime and becomes the most powerful being in the entire universe. As a slime. Interesting. Yes, as a slime. And he eats his own true love. Well... <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Yeah. I really should not have said that out of context, but yeah, it, it's kind of weird. And it's funny. But it's actually a really sweet moment when he actually does that. So don't think that that's really sucky and all of that jazz, because it actually was a really sweet oh, moment. Oh, it sounds sucky. It, it was sucky for him, but it was not a bad situation. It was kind of... Uh, she basically asked him as her final request that he does that, but... I don't want to spoil that right now. Uh-huh. But they're making a spin-off. Yay! 
which as uh, from what it sounds like that is going to be a slice of life anime that basically still deals with all the characters and stuff but like i said slice of life instead interesting yeah now for the show that none of us have watched we should talk about this because it's hilarious none of us have watched shaman king and i know we're all gonna get hate about that (laughs) oh my gosh but the new season's coming maybe we should watch it maybe probably not Probably none of us are going to watch it. No idea what it is. Me neither. Uh, from what I understand, it's basically about this guy who gets magical powers or something, and he's a shaman. I, I don't know exactly. And he's, like, trying to find some cool thing to do. I, from what I'm, uh, I kind of gather that it's kind of similar to One Piece, but I'm not 100% certain. But it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of similar to what happened with um, Full Metal Alchemist and then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Interesting. As well as the more recent Fruits Basket. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. When you're just simply not an anime nerd. Yeah. Poor Jack doesn't understand what we're talking about. Sure. <laughs> Uh, but here's something that you will be interested in, uh, even though you haven't seen it. Zombieland Saga is coming back. <laughs> you woot woot. Uh, for those of you who are I've unaware, including Zombieland. Yeah, Zombieland Saga uh, is actually a really fun show, and I think that you guys should watch it at some point. Basically, it's about uh, five girls, I want to say. Yeah, five girls who all died of different causes, uh, some long ago, some more recently, including the fact that one of them is a little girl who died, and then you can, and then her father frickin' shows up later in the series. It it's a whole thing, um, and the main character got hit by truck kun. That's fun. <laughs> Everyone's hit by truck kun. What the frell? Oh, but yeah, um, all of these characters, basically, they all come back as zombies, and they have to become an idol group. Interesting. In order to save the Saga prefect- Prefecture. Bleh. I cannot speak, apparently. Which is a ver- uh, which is a location in Japan that apparently had a lot of problems and stuff. But I see and now it's getting a sequel, so everyone's excited for who for those of us who have seen it, and you guys should be too. <laughs> no, no excited. Now, as for the thing that I am most excited for this season, that unfortunately got delayed. Sorry, I'm very pissed off about that. <sighs> the world ends with you is <laughs> coming back, or is getting an anime adaptation. <laughs> Uh, it was supposed to release today, but I, I'm assuming that the reason that they didn't was because of the fact that it was frickin' My Hero Academia, and now it's being, it's been pushed back to April 10th, so. That sucks. I'm sorry. It's fine. It makes sense. But you need to play the game. Which I, game? The World Ends With You. I suggested it to you uh, yes. back when you were getting your Switch. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. That is a fun game. Uh, that is a story of a guy who dies, loses all his memories, I believe. I don't remember exactly. I forgot what exactly it was, but basically, um, what happens is that in order to cheat death to an extent, you have to play through an entire game make a, a with a partner and you both have to conti- you have to survive and on top of that you also have like a whole bunch of other issues with the fact that you had to give up some the thing that was most precious to you such as one of the things that really sucks is that one of the, the two of the main characters one of them had to give up his sister who is 
also in the freaking game and becomes his partner. And then she, in order to join the game, had to give up her memories. Wow, that sounds terrible. It is terrible, but it is honestly Very terrible. It's honestly a great story, and I absolutely loved how it ended. And on top of that, it's getting a sequel game that is going to look uh, be like a thousand times better because it's no longer going to be this weird combat system. Instead, it's going to be an action RPG. Interesting. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people are going to be really excited to see how this goes. But the other thing is that even if you guys haven't actually heard of The World Ends With You, please, I'm begging you to please watch it because it is so important for the future of Square Enix animation. All right. Because if this does well, then that means that we can get a Kingdom Hearts anime as well as a Final Fantasy Lost Stranger anime. Both of which I am... I would be ecstatic for. So that's why I'm constantly just telling people, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay. So please watch it. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be fun. Uh, unfortunately, I think, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that it might only be coming to Funimation. So if you, so obviously uh, that's going to suck because Funimation's app, I'm sorry, Funimation, if you're, actually watching this but you need to fix your app it is so bad i agree yeah and i don't think you've seen all of the problems that it's had like what problems have you seen joker like well for subscriptions and stuff that like you can watch stuff on either the computer which would be free but then if you go on to your app on your phone or your tablet it says that you have to subscribe yeah and it doesn't some, uh, all match it, it's, up it's so confusing because sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't and you kind of have to jump between the different systems in order to actually check it but that's just one issue recently i've i've come across another issue with um last dungeon boonies <laughs> Yes, that is an anime, and I will talk about it later. Um, or you guys can go and watch that video. <laughs> but um, for some reason, when you watch it on Funimation, it will play the previous episode's visuals and audio, but it will play the subtitles for the actual episode unless you specifically go into the actual thing and all of that jazz. It's just such a complicated mess. And... Yeah, it sucks. Hopefully it's going to be available in other locations. Like Verve! We are not sponsored by them, but if they wanted to sponsor us, we would not deny that. Dear God. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, now I'm actually curious... Who would you guys like to be sponsored by at some point? Game Freak. That's fair, but I kind of doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. I mean, duh. I mean, we don't really talk about Pokemon before uh, very much. We've we've talked about it once, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, well, your boy just beat the game, so. Woo! Uh, Which game? Shield. So, have you gotten, um, Zacian? No, that's post-game. Okay, so you've just beaten the main game. Okay. So, yeah, you need to finish the post-game. <laughs> yeah. And get... I'm also hoping at some point to get the Oh, uh, no, it's not on Ah, <laughs> uh, Frel. Why am I for... I keep forgetting what their names is, that names are. Because one's Zama Zamazenta <laughs> and one's uh, Zacian. I believe. Yeah, Zamazenta is the one in this one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the re maybe I should have played this in English for my first playthrough instead of choosing to go Japanese. Maybe. <laughs> ay, ay. I have problems. Yes, yes, you do. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. What else? Isn't some, something else is happening soon that I'm forgetting what it is. Do you guys remember? Um, nope. Frel. No. Well, fun fact, I just started watching uh, the third season of Young Justice. Oh. Oh, it was so awesome. It's so awesome. Interesting. I personally think the first two seasons are better. Eh, that's fair. I mean, Wally did so much for the first two seasons. And now he's gone. How sad. I'm sorry. He is still involved with the third season, but not as much, sadly. Ugh. But you guys, uh, so you've seen all of it, right, Joker? Yep. Okay. Uh, is how... that a show meant for kids, Jokey? I watched that a long time ago. Fair enough. Also, no, it is not meant for kids. Like, holy crap, that is so mature <laughs> like uh, it it's not at the point where it should be rated m uh m a but it's it's pretty up there um so yeah it's it's got a lot of dark stuff especially this latest season like holy crap one of the main characters dies over and over again, and it's just like, why? Why do you do this? Why do you make a character that, like, one of her big things is that she dies over and over again? And it's just so much worse because it's like the, the one Muslim character in the entire series. Did you guys hear that? No. Frau. I heard it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't thinking of it. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like the one Muslim character in the show just keeps dying over and over and over again. And on top of that, she's also like, um, uh, she's also struggling with her gender identity. And it's like, what the Frell is going on here? This is very confusing at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Her character is confusing, but I, I don't know what the frell they were doing with, what they decided to do with her, but it, it's weird. <sighs> so, uh, how about that Snyder cut? The what? The Snyder cut. I have not seen it. We'll probably never see it. It's actually way better than the frickin' normal Justice League. Like, they set up a lot of things that I don't think that will ever be really work. They'll ever work into the series. But it it was honestly really interesting, and added so much character to the uh, to. Uh, basically all of the characters that got introduced in that story so yeah interesting yeah and on top of that it's two hours longer <laughs> so yeah if you add two hours apparently you can add character development oh wild who knew it's four hours long yeah it's four hours long <laughs> It's just so odd because it's like freaking all of these uh, the Marvel movies just did so much better and I can't understand why the frell DC has been sucking so bad with their freaking movies but then when it comes to their shows they do so much better because Disney actually planned out their Marvel Cinematic Universe beforehand and planned it years in advance. Yeah, that's true. That is definitely true. Whereas DC has been like, ass? Ass. 
<laughs> yeah, like, let's seriously, this at this point, let's there are this three, character. count them three, movies that were actually considered by most audiences to be good. And then there's me, who likes Suicide Squad. I like Suicide Squad. Me, uh, I have yeah. not seen Suicide Squad. I've been wanting to, but I have not seen it. Blame your parents. It's not good. Oh my gosh, but yeah, that was... I liked Suicide Squad. Did you Squad. know they're making a second one? Yep. That, yeah, I am excited going. for that. And I also need to watch the frickin' Birds of Prey movie. Hmm. But, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to watch that one. I need to watch WandaVision and then uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yes, you do. They are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> We talked about this last time that you need to see Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my gosh. So I've actually been uh, watching a, someone talk about the episodes recently, and oh boy, it adds so much. And oh my. It, like, the person that I've, uh, that I've been watching has a par- is a African-American woman who has been in the military and just all of the context that she adds to all of that is absolutely insane. And I'm just like, holy shit. So much bullshit has happened with the military. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, my dad could tell you that. Oh, my gosh. And it's just so bad for so many people. And it's... A lot of it is also because their race and they get discriminated against. Yeah, that so makes much. Sense. Ugh. And I'm I'm kind of wishing that they could actually talk more about it to a certain degree because some of these things actually really need to be addressed because like I know they're talk they have been doing like subtle information about it, but unless you are able to watch videos by people who've actually dealt with that stuff and are able to talk about it a lot of that might just go over your head as how impactful it was like frick there was a a, one of the characters that got introduced last episode i actually know a lot more about his story than they actually explain in the actual episode and his story's freaking messed up Interesting. Yeah. Basically, he was an African-American soldier during World War II, and he was experimented on with the early versions of the Super Soldier Serum, and was uh, he did try and go on some covert missions as um, uh, as Captain America, but then because uh, but they had to disguise him so no one would know that he was. Uh, an African American, and just all of this stuff, and it was so bad. It's insanity. And I, I don't think that they actually put most of that in the uh, the Falcon and the Wear Soldier, most of his story. But honestly, considering how messed up his story was, I can actually completely understand why they wouldn't want to go over everything that happened in it that makes sense i mean honestly but you can definitely see just the scars and stuff that he's been from what he's been through just from what he says it's insane but (laughs) how in the world is marvel succeeding so well Holy crap. They're owned by Disney and one of the most famous franchises in the world. How do you think they're surviving? Good point. Too bad they can't go over a lot of stuff that a lot of fans actually would love to see. Yeah, well. Fucking China. Anyway, we should probably wrap this up. Yeah, probably. We've kind of been just going all over the place. (laughs) As per usual, ADHD, you know, do that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're insane as well, so there's another fact. I mean, there's that. 
<laughs> but anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this latest episode of Nerd Chat. I have been Electro Ninja. And Frank the Dopamine Dog, also known as Jack. Ben Joker. And we will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell. And of course, leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments below. And check out all of our links down in the description. Because, holy crap, those will help us out a lot more than you may think. And also, uh, Jack currently has a shirt in the merch store. So you should definitely go and check that out. I do. It's cool. And we're working on getting Joker his own shirt, but he needs to actually stay on a call for a little bit so that we can actually talk about that later. And hopefully that will be available tomorrow, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, like I said, and we will see you guys next time. But on...